Hello, I'm David Vallier, and I manage the sales, marketing, and research and development teams at Speedball Art Products. I'm here at Jackson Studio to talk about our company. So there's actually kind of two phases and two beginnings to the Speedball Art Products company. Ross F. George and William Gordon were quite preeminent sign painters and commercial designers of the time. So our company actually has strong roots in drawing and lettering. And throughout the 20th century, we added expertise in the areas of printmaking, specifically in the technology around water-based inks. In the 1930s, we worked to develop water-based block printing inks, and then on into the 1970s, water-based screen printing inks. The first phase of our company went almost a full 100 years. And in 1997, they decided it was time to sell speedball and divest and they had all the formulas they had suppliers set up and everything ready to go to the potential buyer and send production overseas well our current owner mr walt glazer ended up purchasing the company and he thought the best way to manage the company and serve the artist community was to keep production and manufacturing in the united states in north carolina that is how our company started in 1997 the current version and we continue to manufacture our products in North Carolina and the United States to best serve the artist community, both the retail community and artists. The name Speedball came from the original Speedball nib, which was developed around the turn of the century by Ross F. George and William Gordon. And the benefit that the Speedball nib had versus traditional tools of the day was that it cut working time in half for users, hence the Speedball nib. Speedball is best known for calligraphy, which dates back to the company's roots in 1899. It's also very well known for block printing and screen printing, where we offer inks and all of the associated tools, gel plates for mono printing, and we have the Akua brand, which is a wonderful line of inks for monotype and for etching. We essentially have all the printmaking methods covered with the exception of lithography and Hopefully by the time you're viewing this, we've got that covered as well. So we began producing water-based block printing inks in the 1930s and water-based screen printing inks in the 1970s. We wanted to be able to offer artists an alternative to the traditional oil-based inks that require solvents for cleanup. After developing the water-based inks, we rounded out our offering with tools for the associated disciplines for block printing and screen printing. So our vision is really to be a one-stop shop for printmakers working in a variety of techniques across all of the printmaking methods. So we've developed our range really to meet the needs of the artists at different stages of their career or different stages of their development. To start with, we have our water-soluble block printing ink, and that's very popular with uh, students, very popular in classrooms. It's our easiest to clean up. It provides very good quality at a very accessible price point and is perfect for educational environments. And then moving on to our fabric block printing ink, it's one of the very few block printing inks that is suitable for fabric. It's been extremely popular, and one of the things that makes it so special is that it uh, is wash fast and permanent on fabric with no heat set required. And then moving on to our traditional oil-based inks, it's long been a favorite of relief printers who work large format wood cut or linoleum cut. They really appreciate the rich body and working properties in the long open time. And then last but not least, we have our professional relief ink, which is a water mixable oil. So it has many of the working properties of a traditional oil-based ink, uh, yet cleans up with soap and water. And then on the screen printing side of things, we have our fabric screen printing ink, which as the name indicates is ideal for uh, a range of fabrics, which is extremely popular for t-shirts and totes and tea towels and such. And then we have our acrylic screen printing inks, which are very popular among poster artists. And one of the coolest things, and one of the things that I enjoy looking at is seeing the posters from concerts all around the world that are quite often screen printed and screen printed with, with speedball ink. 
And this is a line in which we receive very direct feedback from artists regarding uh, our black specifically. And the feedback from artists on our acrylic screen printing ink was that it was a little susceptible to scuffing. So we were able to reformulate and provide a little bit more of a satiny finish that resists scuffing. And that feedback and formulation resulted in our poster black acrylic screen printing ink. And then you have our Flex screen printing ink, which provides an incredible level of opacity and also uh, an incredible level of stretch. When you think about a lot of the synthetic fabrics that are available today that have a lot of stretch in them, this ink does not a really, really nice job of covering and stretching with those types of fabrics. We have several different surfaces for relief printers to choose from. The first group is the traditional linoleum, and we offer that in both a mounted form and unmounted. What has become extremely popular in recent years is what we call our soft blocks. And we have three different types of soft block surfaces for printers to choose from. Our speedy cut offering is our most approachable Price point, it's excellent for schools. It's extremely soft and easy to carve into. Our second offering is our Speedy Cut Easy. It's gonna provide the option for a little bit more detail. And our most popular option is our Speedy Carve. And the reason that one is so popular is because it really delivers the best of both worlds in terms of being easy to carve, but also the ability to hold really, really fine detail. So it's popular ranging from beginners all the way up to professional relief printers. Artist collaboration is at the heart of everything we do at Speedball. In terms of a couple of uh, specific examples of collaborations that I would point to, one is certainly the super graphic black professional relief ink. It's highly pigmented and mixes wonderfully we worked very closely with our partner artist, Bill Fick, uh, on the development of this ink. So it's uh, one of our first examples of our artist partnerships in terms of product development. And in fact, our flagship color, Super Graphic Black, is an homage to uh, his studio. And his artwork also is on the label of all of our different offerings within the line. So while Bill Fick's name and artwork are associated with our professional relief ink line, he really embodies the feedback of the entire relief printing community that we engage on that project. Another really cool collaboration that we have is for the Speedball textbook. Now the Speedball textbook has been around since 1915 and is really a collector's item for lettering artists and calligraphers. When we come out with a new edition, almost in its entirety, uh, is it's a artist collaboration wherein they send in uh, exemplars to be really the content of the textbook. In addition to contributing to our ongoing product lines, we've had some really fun artist collaborations for limited time offerings, and we will continue to do so. One of my favorites was what we called the print posse, and it was a limited time offering of 17 different products that were developed in conjunction with artists across block printing and screen printing. Now, most of them were new colors. Uh, we had a couple of very interesting uh, mediums. And the artists developed not only the colors, but the labels for their individual products. Beyond collaboration and input on our products, I'm really proud of what our team has been able to do to partner with uh, artists in terms of our packaging development. Specifically within block printing, we've partnered with such outstanding artists as uh, Susanna McDonald, Mindy Schumacher, Lizzie Christian, and Reynaldo Gil Zambrano. For us, it was extremely important to have artists to contribute directly to our packaging. What better way to present our products to artists than to demonstrate and include the amazing artwork that our partner artists have been able to create using our products. I think one of the biggest opportunities we have in the future is to develop similar types of artist relationships worldwide that we have in North America. Uh, and we have a great start. We certainly have uh, a lot of artist partnerships throughout the world. 
And that really needs to continue if we want to achieve our goals of being a, a, a global brand and a, and a global company. And the way that we're going to do that is to be artist-led, not just in the United States, but truly around the world. So whether it's a quote-unquote simple line extension or brand new formula development, artist collaboration or artist feedback is going to be at the heart of what we do always philosophically. Speedball employs just under 100 people today. The vast majority are located in our headquarters in North Carolina. The vast majority of that number resides in our manufacturing and distribution operations. Our core competencies from a manufacturing perspective are light metal working, such as for our nibs and linoleum cutters. And we also specialize in ink formulation and production. We also do paper converting, we assemble our pottery wheels, and we have full shipping and distribution capabilities. We also have a modest front office staff that handles functions such as sales and marketing and finance, and of course our customer service. Our customer service team manages our customer and consumer interactions from around the world where we do business in over 60 countries. And even though we're not a family owned company, I really feel like we act like one. On a regular basis, we get together for cookouts and company meetings and social events, and it really is uh, a neat vibe and a great place to work. There really is no average day, but I will say that when we're able to conduct a tour for an artist, it's one of my favorite parts of the job. Quite often we hear from artists that they have very distinct expectations coming into the tour versus what they see. They expect to see a lot of high-speed machinery and fancy equipment. And while we do have equipment and machinery to help our operators, it is very much a hands-on, people-driven process. And what artists love when they go on the tour is to see and meet the people that are behind the products and the tools that they use. And it's a really, it's a really neat experience. It provides a great connection uh, to the artist. We have a very dedicated staff, very long tenured staff, and you'll see that uh, when you go on a tour at Speedball. You'll see the the people that are working, um, the the fun that they're having, and the pride that they take in their craft. So one of the other things that artists notice when they go on a tour is the facility itself. So the facility is a 1950s manufacturing facility. It was built when our previous ownership moved manufacturing to North Carolina. Uh, it's a bit quirky. Uh, the layout is um, interesting. Sometimes folks joke that they need to leave breadcrumbs to determine where they've been and where they need to go uh, on the tour. From a manufacturing perspective, one of our core competencies is light metalworking, and that starts in the tool and die room where we have a technician who's been there over three decades. And he is such an expert and, and so proud of the work that he does. A calligraphy nib can go through upwards of 12 different production steps. One of the next steps is to move over to the machine room where products are formed and slit. And many of the machines that are used in that process date back to the 1930s. And then the final stage of the production process for a nib is to be inspected by our quality control associate. Uh, every one of our nibs is looked at and the quality is confirmed before it gets packaged and sent out to the consumer. Another area of our manufacturing expertise is in the production and formulation of inks. You'll find our associates milling and mixing and filling tubes and jar of inks. Uh, and actually before they're filled, every batch is tested by our lab to ensure that the color match is to standard and every batch is tested from a performance criteria. So when not conducting the quality control standards, our lab is developing new products and they're constantly looking at the different properties. They're constantly looking at new attributes, new types of inks and other fluids and tools that might be useful to artists. So in summary, there really is no average day, but the common theme across every single one of our functions is that there are people there that are taking great pride in their work to produce the products that artists use in their studios every day.